All right, everybody. This is uh, uh, let me try and get the light. This is Dell Optus uh, GX270. Okay, um, I'm uh, actually doing. I just finished the diagnostics on it. I want to show you how to change out the motherboard. The, I, everything's good in this computer except for the hard drive. Uh, this uh, this is a computer that I'm taking apart to sell uh, parts on eBay. All right. Um, so uh, uh, in, I just realized that I don't have a video on YouTube, and here I am selling parts on eBay uh, that. I don't have any instructions on how to change, <laughs> so caught me by surprise. Anyway, so uh, that's going to be a benefit for those who, who uh, receive the motherboards or buy a motherboard and change out, change it out. So here we go. Okay, the Windows is not on the hard drive. In fact, there's no hard drive in here. I'm going to put a bad hard drive in just for illustration. Uh, show you how to disconnect it. I'm running the diagnostics utility. Make this like it's Windows. Okay, so the boots up, it starts, and we're able to operate it. So here we go. Now there's some things we have to do before we start pulling anything. Okay, the power cord's still in. All right, so what we're going to do is uh, we need to disconnect all the power in the back. But I want to show you something. We disconnect the power, and this light stays on, right there. It means that your capacitor is in here, and then your power supply uh, still has power. If you start pulling your memory chips, you're going to have problems. Okay, uh, because power is still on the motherboard. So we want to make sure that light goes out. And it will, and then we can start doing things on the on the motherboard. Uh, it, it it just went out, so uh, so we are safe to start doing things. What we're going to do is pull up the shroud. Okay, um, take a look at your capacitors. All right, they should be all flat. It's hard to get on an angle here to actually show you, but they should be. Every one of these capacitors, these silver top things, should be flat, all the all the way around. And back there, underneath the uh, heat sink, the little, that little heat sink is hard to look under, but you need to get under and then take a look. Look uh, across all those capacitors. I'm going to break from this video real quick to show you some uh, capacitors that have popped on different motherboards, not on this one. Okay, so you have an example of what to look for. This is one example of a capacitor that's lifted up. You can come down uh, and look straight across. You can see it's popped, uh, like Jiffy Pop popcorn, old uh, things. This is a, a good one over here. So you see how flat that is? And that's the one that took a charge and just uh, puffed up. We have to pull out our blank off plates. So put, push that back, it unlocks it. This lifts up. And we're going to pull all these plates out. If they're a little hard to do, just give them a a good push and set them aside because uh, you're probably going to have one or two out for uh, either a dial-up modem for fax and some of them are kind of difficult to move you're just sliding your finger right over them as we uh, pull them out alright we're pulling these out because they do go down inside so sometimes they intercept with the motherboard this one's not but I, I pull them out anyway because we do have cards uh, that would be on, on these sometimes. So it's up to you uh, if you want to pull those out. I do because I like I like the light coming through so I can see what I'm doing anyway. Alright, it gives me more light even though my light's up here. Okay, so so uh, now we're ready to get inside. Um, we're going to take out uh, just the motherboard. Um, the memory, we, we could pop out. I'm not going to pull the processor off because then I have to get some of the thermal uh, gel that goes on between the the heat sink and the processor. So I'm not pulling that off. I'm just going to show you how to replace this motherboard. Alright, so uh, here we go. Alright, we have uh, the lights turned off. Okay, we're going to ground ourselves, continuously touch the frame. Alright, because we don't have, uh, no normal end users don't have a, a strap to go around the wrist and clamp onto the ground. So uh, we want to make sure we're, st we're statically discharged ourselves. So, uh, so uh, we're going to grab, these have pull tabs. All right, your hard drives and all that, and your CD-ROM drive side, and this is a pull tab. This is not, so we're going to take this and very gently, one side at a time, and pop it off. Pull the pull tabs off here, and you really can't get these interchange. These two probably you could. Um, these two you can get swapped around, but just set them aside. Set them back here. All right, straight back. Uh, once again, pull side by side. 
try it. We want to take the power supply out. Just you're you're pushing this tab down, and and then you're wiggling back and forth. Get this out of the way. Just put it up over there so it's out of the way. This is the other side. This goes underneath and up, and bring this up here to get it out of the way. This is the connector for your fan in the back. There's a pull tab that you're going to push and bring this up. It's a little tab that's on top of the connector. All right, that you're going to hit to, to pull it out. Take this and get it up out of the way. All right, so now all you have left is your part there. This just goes to your CD-ROM drive. Once again, there's a pull tab at your thumb when you're down like that. You're going to push that in and pull it up. We're going to set this out of the way somewhere. This goes to your up front display. All right, there's no pull tabs, but you have to be very careful with this and just draw it back and forth to pull it out. Okay, all right, you don't want to give it a yank out because you pull these pins out, then, uh, then you got problems. All right, uh, we are basically done. All the connectors are done, everything's out back here, there's nothing else touching it. There's uh, one time that you're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver. Is right here. This is the only screw holding it down. We unscrew this, save the screw, and there's a green tab right here. I want to make sure this is in the video because these cables is right here. This green tab. Okay, I see my finger touching it. All right, you're going to lift this green tab up and you're going to pull that way, and the whole thing comes out. I just wish that Dell would make all their computers this way. All right, I mean, there, there it is. Um, let's get underneath the light. This is this is the motherboard. This is how uh, when I ship a motherboard from this model that comes with a tray, and uh, and that's it. Now, if you need to get this off the tray, there's little things you have to pinch. They're all over this thing. All right, there's one there. There's one on this side over here. There's one up there. I don't think there's any in the middle. I've done this before, but really you shouldn't have to do this. This should be sold on the tray. All right, so now if you get the tray, if I'm selling it, if you buy one from me, this tray goes back in. All right, this is just like you got one brand new. And I usually include the RAM. I'm running out of RAM, so it might not have the RAM chips. You can take it off your old motherboard, providing the RAM's good. I'm going to get these, these connectors are going to be in the way, so you need to get this straight down. You need to line it up, because there's rails that are uh, slides along. I'm wondering if I can see the rails. Line it up with the back, and you push it in. It's going to click. It should click. Oh, I moved the camera too. I think the whole desk moved. Um, See, it's lifting up in the back and it shouldn't lift up. So this is where the, the, the real trick is. Is I press it down and I think it just clicked. Okay, so I hit the top of this. Don't hit them, don't press on the board. Because if you have static, that's where it's going to discharge. We're touching metal anyway. But now it's no, no play in there, it's locked down. Now we just go in the reverse of what we did before. This is the last thing we put a, pulled out. That's the first thing we put back in. Line it up, push down. And you'll feel it go down. Uh, this is our CD-ROM cable for sound. It's going to go in there. You'll hear a click. It wasn't a click. It was like a. We're going to take our screw and put it back in here. And we're going to come back here. Put our blank off plates back there. I notice the screw holes up there. And slide these back down. That's only if you pull these out. Okay, I, I normally do only because I've seen them too many times actually slide into a part of the motherboard and we couldn't get it out. Of course, if you have a, a video card, if you have an AGP card, you're going to have to put that back on. Uh, if you have uh, another network card or a modem card, whatever, a TV card, any, anything uh, that you have, another USB card or something like that, 
uh, you need to plug those all back in the same spots because you have, you'll have IRQ issues and stuff that you don't if you don't do that. Okay, um, come over back over here. You have your blue cable. I'm going to slide back down here. I'm going to take our other cable. These all have keyways. You can't mix these. You can't when you push down, push on both sides and go straight down. Uh, do not want to bend a, a pin if for some reason you're off center or something. So uh, work on them, push them all the way down. Uh, take our um, power supply, push that down. This power supply comes over, and goes into this one. They all have tabs on them that clicked, went down. This is our uh, CPU fan. Okay, we have a pull tab right here. We're going to just aim that. And there's a keyway in the back too. So the QA has to line up. So it's really easy to put in. All right. So there you go. That's in there. Put the shot down. And we are ready to start this up. Now, just a heads up. This is an IDE hard drive. There are two SATA connectors here. If your um, hard drive, CD-ROM or SATA, serial ATAs, that means your power supply is going to have different connectors on them too, or you'll have a pigtail. All right, so this does not include that part. You may have these hooked up, so make sure you hook these back up if it's applicable. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, start up and see what happens. Okay, I hit the power button. And I saw the Dell uh, splash screen, the BIOS screen. All right, and here comes my software. Now, this would be your Windows starting up. This is my uh, diagnostic software. So uh, I'm booting off a CD, you're booting off a hard drive. So uh, I hope this helped you out. Okay, uh, very easy to do. Probably the simplest of all motherboards to change out.